is the science bit. Ready. Could a bendy phone be the future? There really is no driver. Oh, I feel better for that. Clip. Today at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Ben Brown, the headlines at midday. One year on from the terror attack on London Bridge and Borough Market, a special service will be held today at Southwark Cathedral to remember those killed and injured. And I'm live at the cathedral where we will be reflecting on the events of one year ago. I'll be talking to local people and business owners about the impact it has had in this part of London one year on. In the other headlines, the Home Secretary Sajid Javid has said he will look again at the cap on the number of doctors that can come to the UK to work in the NHS. I know a number of my colleagues certainly want me to take a look at this and that's exactly what I'm doing and I hope to bring, you know, think about this uh, more carefully and see what can be done. G7 finance ministers warn the United States it only has days left to avoid a trade war after President Trump's decision to impose tariffs on steel and aluminium imports. A church campaign to tackle modern-day slavery at car washes, where workers are said to be trapped by threats and debts. And on this week's Click, coming up in half an hour's time here on BBC News, the BBC's Gary O'Donoghue tests a pair of glasses which provide help for blind people. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. One year ago today, eight people died and 48 others were injured in the London Bridge terror attack. Three men, 